Girl with no job is literally a girl with no job. Welcome back to What's Trending. I'm Candice Carrizales. Subscribe for more social media news every day. You may have heard of the popular Instagram account Girl with no job, which has a whopping 2.8 million followers. It's a meme account. It's run by Claudia Oshry Offer. She also has sisters, one of them named Jackie, who runs the popular account Jackie O Problems, which is also a meme account. She has a sister, Margot, who runs a food Instagram. And they also have a sister named Olivia, who I don't know what she does. This story mostly covers Claudia and her sister, Jackie. On Wednesday, all of their careers were put into jeopardy. Their daily talk show, The Morning Breath, was canceled after the Daily Beast revealed that their mom is Pamela Geller, no relation to Michelle Geller from The Vampire Show. Geller is known for her conservative, extremist, conspiracy-ridden, and Islamophobic views and blog. To give you an example of who their mom is, she was banned from entering England. The British government said having her in the country would not be conducive to the public good. If that gives you any idea at all, I don't know. The digital platform called Oath, which hosted The Morning Breath, gave this statement. The Morning Breath, an Oath social media show, is being canceled immediately and we have launched an internal investigation and will take other appropriate steps based on the results of the investigation. So it may come across as, oh, these girls are being fired because of their mom? Nope, wait for it. It goes deeper. There's more to the story. I'm gonna uncover so much for you. After the reveal of who their mom was, the internet did what the internet does best. Digging up people's old tweets. So it turned out Claudia and her sister Jackie had some pretty gross, rude, racist tweets of their own. A lot of them directed at a president at the time, Barack Obama. The Twitter account Taylor Lorenz tweeted this. A few since deleted tweets sent by Pamela Geller's viral Instagram star daughters. Claudia tweeted, I can't help but feel like I'm funding terrorism when I take a cab, amongst these other tweets. Her sister Jackie tweeted in response to an article titled, Obama is likely to visit Israel in second term. No thanks, there are enough unwanted Muslims there already. I'm sorry, people are shocked that they lost their jobs from these tweets? And like anybody who's been exposed for anything gross, they apologize. Are they apologizing because they're actually sorry or are they apologizing because they got caught? I'll let you decide that one. That's up to you. So Claudia uploaded this video to Instagram. I was a dumb kid, I was 16. I thought I was being funny and, and cool on Twitter and it's not, I'm not racist. I can't believe I even have to say that. If you give me the opportunity to show you who I am and what I stand for, I would be so grateful. But I, I understand that these things take time and what I did was not okay. And I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. And Jackie followed in her footsteps, posting this statement to Instagram. I wanted to express my utmost sincere apologies for the indefensible comments that I've said in the past. That is not a reflection of who I am as a person today, and I am truly sorry to everyone I've offended and let down. All I can do now is reflect and learn from this experience by showing everyone the good that is in my heart. So in the apology video that Claudia posted and in the apology that Jackie posted, they're both basically saying like, I was young and dumb. So this begs the question, do you think age is an excuse in these kind of scenarios? And then there was another statement made by Claudia, which said this. We want to be clear to our audience and fans that our political and cultural beliefs are not anti-Muslim or anti-anyone. Our views are separate from our mothers. Apologies aside, let's talk a little bit more about this whole cover-up because they have been covering up that this is their mom for many years. So like last Thanksgiving, one of the sisters posted this to Instagram. Seems natural, normal, fine, whatever, they're on a balcony. But then simultaneously, their mom Geller posted this photo. That's right, that's right, that's the same balcony. And then when Claudia was getting married, the company who was making the invitations for her wedding posted a picture of the invitations and Claudia reposted the same photo to Instagram but covered up her real last name, Geller. Oh, Buffy's name is Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> I remember it finally. And then in this picture, side by side, we see the same dining room, very spooky, very creepy. So what are people on the internet saying about this crazy story that's uh, pretty nuts? 
it's definitely a potluck. Some people supporting them, some people not supporting them, some people being neutral. And I'm gonna share those with you. Like this Fox contributor said this. So Daily Beast goes after young sisters because of who their mother is. They get fired from their jobs, forced to apologize for saying Obama handled ISIS poorly. He did, and are probably now on an Al Qaeda or ISIS hit list. Disgusting. Not gonna lie, that's an intense tweet. People replied to that tweet with the racist tweets that the daughters did tweet though, because that tweet from that contributor kind of seemed like it was glossing over that fact. Another Twitter user does not think the age is an excuse. When I was 16, I never felt the need to attack gays or defend racists. This Twitter user said, you don't need a psychology degree to understand that young people are impressionable and when you're involuntarily raised in an environment with extremist ideology, you will undoubtedly have some extremist opinions because that's what's been drilled into you. Allow for change. John C. took a lighthearted approach. Remember kids, the internet is forever. And another account said, before you defend girl with no job and Jackie O problems, consider the facts that they have purposely disassociated themselves from their mother, Islamophobe Pamela Geller, in order to further their careers. Proof that they tweeted five years ago is who they are now. It appears that the girls have also deleted their Twitter accounts. They're nowhere to be found. But Claudia is still posting on her Instagram. Like she just posted a meme after her apology video. She wastes no time. <laughs> she did not take the day off. So what do you think of this whole debacle? And just a friendly PSA, be careful what you post online. Thanks for watching. For more stories like this, head to whatstrending.com. I'm Candace Carazales.